So this is going to be my part number two. Right now, I just got done doing my eye makeup. I did not do any lip gloss or anything because I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Now, I got requested on Instagram by a lovely girl, and she wanted me to show her how I contour and highlight my cheekbones. And there's several, many, many, many ways of how you can do it. You can do it with high-end products, or you can just do it with drugstore products. Today, I'm just going to show you how I highlight my cheekbones and contour with a very so, inexpensive um, way. Without further ado, I'm going to show you now. Like I said, there's many ways you could do it with eyeshadows as well. So I will give you some little tips on how I do that as well. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And if you want to check out the eye makeup, go ahead and check my part number already one. already wiped my All foundation right and my powder. So now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you can highlight and contour those lovely cheekbones to get that very slim finish. And this is, I'm not professional or anything. This is some tips that I picked up throughout my whole YouTube experience because I also watch YouTube videos. So I kind of just go into more of like the makeup artists and stuff and go on their channels and see little tips. So today I'll be sharing them with you. Okay, you now enjoy. you can contour with just a drugstore product. This is just an e.l.f. compact. And um, I also bought the NARS one, but I kind of feel like it's kind of like a dupe for it. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's not many of a difference except the e.l.f. is a little bit more, um, it has a lot more shimmers. But today I'm just going to show you how to contour and highlight where a very is going to be an device. angle brush. Now I don't have any professional makeup brushes, but for right now I've been loving this brush and I have been using it for the longest. This is just a regular $1 e.l.f. angled brush and you use this to contour. I'm going to show you. So first, what I've learned is when you do like your little fishy face, you see how right here you can see the bone oh right, right here okay you don't want to take to do it all the way over here you only take it right there now some people to define more of their cheek structure they go like that well I like to go directly down so I'm just gonna show you how I take this dollar angled brush from elf as well as the elf so I'm just gonna do a little bit of the e.l.f. powder and I'm just gonna see you know where where it begins and where it ends so here it is Now, I'll be showing a picture on how, where the focal points that you so need to focus more, like to do it right here as well. You have to blend it in into the hairline and into your forehead, not the center of your forehead, just like to the, to the hairline. And I'm just doing this side for right now so you can see a difference. Now I love contouring. I just feel like my face feels more structured and I really enjoy my face being that way. Now you could take a little bit more and blend it into your jawline. And just keep blending. That way you don't have like a harsh area. And I really, really love this bronzer actually because it has a bronzer as well as a blush and they're really really nice and like i said they look exactly like the packaging from dinars so i really like it because it does not give me my skin is a very it's not a very pale skin it's just like a well how should i say it it's not dark or it's not pale so it's in between it's just a normal i guess but um it does not appear orange on my, on my face. It does not look bad. I really like this. And I really like it. So we're just going to take it and we're just going to keep blending in. Now, I feel like this is a really good brush. So I enjoy this brush. Now, you're going to take it and just keep blending. That way, like I said, you don't have any harsh areas. Now, I'm just going to show you real fast. This is the one that I already contour. And this is the one where I haven't. As you see, my face kind of looks a little bit more slimmer and more structured as not this one. Because with this one, you can't really see any of my cheekbones. It's just kind of like, I'm kind of like a square face, a round face. I don't know what you call it. 
but my face is definitely neat, not so. like this. And I love how I did this. I would normally never use a to contour my face. I never contour my face and I don't know why. I never applied mascara neither and I found it that now that I'm using those things, it's like a lot better. Okay, now, like I said, take it down to the jawline. Oops, got it here. And I'll be doing a review for most of my e.l.f. products that I already have. I'm just going to take this one and do it to this side. As you see, I'm not taking it to the bottom. Now it just depends, you can darken it or you can just leave it like this, but it's very important to blend. So you can also take like a small kabuki brush and go over it. And this really gives it a more blended look. I figured that this brush really works well with my not my full. Some people use it for foundations. I don't use it as foundations, but I use it as a powder and it has really blended out my powder. So I really enjoy it. Now you just take this one and kind of blend it in that way you don't have any of harsh areas. And that's pretty much it guys. That's all I do. I just do this. And that's it you can like I said darken it or make it a lot more dramatic I just kind of like myself kind of a settled down Harsh. look and stuff and so. this is a trick now you can use a highlight or you can maybe even use this one and it kind of gives you a little bit more of a high you know a high sheen to your cheekbones but if you don't have any of the highlights or any of that you can take a white like, eyeshadow. You can take a white shimmery shadow paint and just put it on your little fan brush or just a regular brush and you're just going to want to target into this area. So the one that I really like and I know this is not for this but this is the Milani Brow Fix Kit and I really love this one right here which is kind of like a champagne. It's oh, wow. a highlight obviously yeah. that you'd say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to dab it a little bit and then I'm just going to target the area. Now already you could see that I'm getting a very shiny shimmery look but I don't look like a disco ball. That's why I really like this brush. Now, at the end of the video, I will have a picture on how you're supposed to do it, a little diagram, so you can kind of get an idea of where you have to contour and highlight. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. You want to apply it right here, above your eyebrow, and your nose. Now, you can contour your nose or you can just leave it like this. This is just going to appear, your, your nose is going to appear a little bit longer. But today I'm not going to contour. I'm just going to highlight my nose. My cupid's bow. And a little bit on the bottom of my chin. And I have all this baby hairs right here. So you don't really have to go out and buy a very expensive 
highlight or any of that um, you can just use like I said not well you can use a white but make sure it has a little bit of shimmer that way it does do what it's supposed to do and that will give you a perfect highlight That's all you pretty much do, ladies. That's all I do. I seriously just do this. In the summertime, I like my face to be bronze and kind of a golden tone. Obviously, a very tan look. So, I don't use any pink blush. I usually use the pink blush whenever it's, like, winter. But, Elf also carries this compact. And this is a, well, it doesn't have a name, but, or it probably did, but anyway, so this is just a little small compact, and you can also use this as your highlight. Kind of like this. This this one, which is a, already like a blush, but it also has a highlight, so that's really good. So when you tend to have a more bronze look, go again. For like the very white champagne look but when you have more of a red blush or a pink blush go for more for like a pinker tone so those are my tips now if you want to apply a little bit of a blush you can as well do that but i did find from a makeup artist that instead of putting it in the apples of the cheek you actually go above a little bit down contour. So now I'm just going to take this little pink blush from Victoria's Secret and I'm gonna and he said not to do it not on the apples of the cheek or whatever they're gonna actually go down so you see that's all I do. Now I'm just going to add a lip gloss. My favorite and is a this uh, 901B, and this is the Wet n Wild. And then I'm just going to take this NYX lip gloss. And that's it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed bye and don't forget to request any of the looks you want to see next